What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to episode number 16 of The Hot Drop. Take two. This is your host, Grim Reaper Life from the graveyard here um, with episode number 16, as stated there. We're going to cover everything from qualifier finales and then champs that starts this week. Jumping in, we have joining us Shocksito. What's up? It's your boy, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? And returning from a week off, K Dub. Hey, what's going on, guys? Alrighty, we had 16 teams move on. We said goodbye to eight teams this past week. Uh, teams that moved on real quick are. Kinetic 7, Team Impulse, The Dub Hub, 20 Squad, Console Killers, GT, Rico's Roughnecks, Vigorous, Syntax, Rest in Peace, 9 Esports, Lethal, Skyline, Main Gaming, Crazy Mob, and Winner Circle. Those were the 16 that qualified, so congratulations to the top 16. Unfortunately, we said goodbye to 8 teams, which we will talk about in a few moments. Yeah, congratulations to them. Yeah, so, kudos. Jumping into what we're going to cover here, let's start with your biggest winner and uh, coming out of qualifiers, and K-Dub, kick us off. Well, my biggest winner of the qualifiers is definitely main gaming. Um, I wasn't... They have a new roster, sort of, a couple new players, mixing in with some of their old players we weren't really sure of the chemistry that was coming in um and how how they were going to start they had a actually a very slow start the first couple days and then they turned it on and actually you know built up uh you know just adding stacking points in it to to climb that leaderboard to get them in position and into the into champs so i was really impressed with them and the lioness the lioness the angry lions as we like to call them yep um uh, my biggest winner um honestly <clears throat> it's team rip you know that, they got the edge spot right and like i felt like i was with them on the journey they were there we had like three four of their players inside the stream the final day hoping praying they were saying thank you to wc in the chat when they got kills it literally went down to the last gunfight that they ended up pulling it out. Um, but also, they kind of have a fan favorite star that has arise throughout this league. And it's the the Rip Ranger. Or Rip Ranger Jr. or something like that. Like, everybody in the stream loves this guy. So everybody's always rooting for him. Oh, I, I want Rip to make it because we want to see Ranger Jr. play. And he, everybody loves him. So, like, low-key, they got themselves a fan favorite star-studded but type of player. So, I mean... Uh, I say Rip. Shout out Rip. Um, I think they played good enough to make it. Obviously, barely. But uh, a team that going into it, I probably wouldn't have picked them to win. I don't think I did pick them to come in. So, shout out to Rip. Agreed. Um, I was going to pick Rip, but since you picked it, I'll pick something else. But, yes, to your point, Rip, uh, one of those teams that played on Thursday and then had to sit and watch Saturday. Yeah, we were there. Saturday, <laughs> and they were in the stream the whole night the whole... watching. <laughs> And like Shock said, final gunfight, uh, WC took out Properly Tucked. And if Properly Tucked won that... That was the greatest ending. Oh. PT would have been in and uh, Rip would have been out. So they were very thankful. Yes. But I will go with uh, Syntax. That's, yep, that's the one I'm in a second, yep. Um, they made it 15th place. They qualified. I was a little unsure. Uh, they kind of started a little slow similar to main gaming, but they never picked up the pace. They just did just enough to get themselves in. And then that final day, they, um, yeah. they, when they went just... GT in the dub hub in that same like little yep. gaudy area. Whew. Yep. Yep. They took out two top teams right there real quick, picked up points. And if it wasn't for that, they may have been on the outside I looking think, in. I think so. they took out K7 there too, or something like that. So yeah, shout out to them. It was close. It was close. But yeah, so my, my, uh, my biggest winner is Syntax for uh final day, pulling it out and uh, getting themselves in there also. And that was another team that started off a little slow. You weren't sure. Yep. 
Okay. The honorable mention to Nine Esports because low key, like we don't talk about them that much, but they just did their thing, you know. Yep, nine. Good, good team there. Roster solid. All right, uh, biggest loser coming out of qualifiers. Oh my! Shocked. You want to start uh, us off with yeah, I mean, I'm gonna start it off with Team Elevate. Obviously, the team that was there at the last day. I had uh, I just I just feel like that roster was good enough to make it. You got Bransky, who's a veteran player. You got Brody, who's a veteran player. You got Bougie, who's a veteran player. You got Bmore, who, in a duos, carried my man kids to a top five finish. Like so, you got good players on that roster. Obviously, the leader Eliminator. Eliminator felt so strongly about that team that he even stepped back and let them play. The, with the killer bees, as we like to call them, the four bees, because Bransky, <laughs> Bougie, Brody, and uh, B were all bees on the starting roster and just fell short. And uh, Valiant Effort, the last day, game one and game two, they put themselves in striking distance and then they just fell off. So to me, yep. that was a little bit of a disappointment, even though I did enjoy the Valiant Effort. But I mean, got to seal the deal, guys. Come on. I agree with that. Um, they picked up. The first two games that night, they picked up 25 points. They picked up a 13 kill second place and a 12 kill second place or third place, something like that. But they picked up 25 points in the first two games. Yep. And then after that, the final three games, they picked up three total points. Yep. If they all they needed was one more game like the first two, and they would have been in because they missed it by six points. Yeah, they just needed a solid round. They fell off. They did. They, they did they terrible rotations, huge. to be honest, those yeah. last couple games. Yes, they did. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely agree they were a little bit of a disappointment once they had that start there of a uh, looking like, all right, right they're here to play. It. They know what they got to do. Yep. K-Dub, who do you got? Uh, my biggest loser from Qualls is definitely properly talked. Um, I was giving them... A little bit of kudos after the first week of quals um, because they scored like 30 some points in, in, in that first week and then couldn't muster more than another 45 points over the next two. And it's sort of it, like I the reason I gave them so much kudos was because they were doing it without like a, a part time backwards and they didn't have Arctic, which is arguably their best shooter, uh, best fragger, period. And they had they were in position to compete and compete. They were there the last night, but that team is so experienced. Like they real like I would expect them to do what Syntag did. Did whatever they had to do to get in. Yep. And they they fell short. Pugs, backwoods, you know, can shooting and a few other other of those guys, they just didn't they just didn't get the job done. And it was it's a little disappointing, especially we, we've been singing their praises for a few months now, how good they've been. So, For me, um, I, mean, I actually agree with um, K-Dub on this one. Properly talked. They had a lousy last day or last couple days there. Um, and they played both days, so the final week. So they knew what they had to do. No, oh, sorry, I take that back. They're in the Bravo group. So they played the final night. They knew exactly what they had to do going into it. Yeah, they got dropped on by the Dub Hub. They got dropped on by the Dub Hub game one. Um, and game one, game two, they played as a three man. They couldn't even muster to get four in the lobby for the first two games. Yeah, I know. That's come on now. On the final night where you know you need the points. So that did not help them at all. And they barely fell short, too. And six points. And, I mean, they came down the final the final match, final gunfight. It was three up for them, taking on WC, who was either three-man or two-man, and WC ended up taking them out. 3v3. Had they won that fight, They're they would have been in, and uh, rest in peace would have been out. So, fell just short, and uh, going into it, we kind of talked about they had Arctic on the roster. He played one day, the first day of qualifiers, and then that was it. He was gone for boot camp, so they wasted a roster spot on a guy who they knew could only play one night. Don't know if that hurt them in the long run. Yes, it did. I'm going to just throw it out there. It did. <laughs> All righty. Uh, moving on, third topic of the evening, MVPs. 
Uh, we want to say a quick congratulations to shout out to our three MVPs in the qualifiers uh, for top one for each group. They each win a prize. Uh, top uh, MVP coming out of the Alpha group was Count Shankula off of Rico's Ooh, Roughnecks. Imagine that. Coming out of the Bravo group was Desto. And coming out of the Charlie group was Mick off of Team Impulse. Bro, Mick is just always MVP caliber. Bro. I'm <laughs> telling you. Didn't he get like MVP? Was it for was it for you, Team Gato? For the regular season? Then uh, you guys no, him no, no. It was Torch. It was Torch. Somebody, was yeah. Torch. Somebody, he was MVP regular season, then he didn't play all champs, and I was like, oh, why? Yep. Like, yeah. yeah, last season he he was an MVP like, and then didn't play champs. <laughs> Just his schedule, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Desto was the overall MVP, um, but uh, yeah, so those three top three, one from each group. So shout out to them. Yeah. And uh, your predictions for champs MVP. Kate, or uh, let's start with shocks. Um. Yeah, man. I don't. I somebody from K seven probably, but now I'm actually gonna go with. I, he kind of disappointed me in the regular season, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him again. Give me some aimbot, highest IQ player in the game when he ain't trolling. Give me some aimbot. I think he's got the sauce and he'll be the MVP. And when it's all said and done, when it's serious time, give me some aimbot or Quay. I was thinking Quay too, but you know, aimbot. Okay. Okay, Dub. I think I seen on uh, the sub list that TSS <laughs> happened to snag Tack. <laughs> I I I think he he's playing enough where he might shake off that Russ and grab this MVP. I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna say no shot. I don't know. I I I think that I, I'm. I don't know. They, they're sort of fragging out. Uh, they fragged out last night in a daily. I, I, I think. Yeah. I mean, you know that he has the talent. You know that he is one of the best players whenever he is going. See, Can my my look on enough? the mates has always been different because my look on the mates is they've never won anything BGE other than dailies. So like my look on the mates is different than everybody else where they think that's the best team of all time, and I'm like, eh, I've never seen them win any championships. So to me, it's like. I'm not as high on those guys as you guys, so, so that's fair, enough. fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to kind of go with K Dub on this one, but I'm gonna go with Linkadox. Um, he is the best player on that team when, in terms of killing. Usually, always he carries them in the kill department. So I feel that him getting partnered back with Tacticals. Now I don't know if Tax playing all the time. I'm not involved in that aspect. If he's gonna be the main. NA guy with Sparky. I'm going to oh, assume. Boomer. That's so messed up, though, if they bench Chrism or Tick. Like, that's, yeah. You know. Well, I think Chrism's sort of MIA. He got a new kid. So Chris has like... a baby, so he might not be available. And Tick is the one that they replaced with Tack. So. Wow. Um, Cutthroat. I feel that. Uh, they should have brought in Benny. Link could have. Uh, um, I think Link can pop off with Tech in the right position. So I'm going to go with Link Adox. Question before we go. Who picked up Shogun? Or who was it? Who was the one? Was it Shogun? Yeah, right. Who picked up Shogun? Um, No hmm. one has submitted for Shogun yet. No, because I know he was... Remember he was asking? So... He was asking. Yeah. He said there was two teams he could possibly choose from. I don't remember which two teams it was, but... Uh... I thought no, he was no one has Rico's submitted him for sure, but all right. Yes, I think Rico's was one of them. It's just um, they haven't uh, submitted the final change yet. Gotcha. Alrighty, um, so that's MVP. Who would your surprise team be? Ooh. Someone in the top sixteen who you wouldn't expect to. Be the team to say place top three, we'll say, but could get in the top three at the end of the champs. Got Let's it. start with K Dub. Team that I think is not a top five team yet, but they're trending that way. I think that 
could sneak into the top three is GT. Hands down. They are um they're building something. Um hopefully Bliv stays. Hopefully he stays. I don't know if he'll make it through. <laughs> um I've been on the show how many times repeatedly <laughs> over the last couple seasons. Um yeah, talking you- him for not being able to finish a season. But uh if Bliv stay, stays, uh, and they just uh, picked up uh, Benny, um, and uh, I, I think uh, that can be a really solid team, and I think they can uh, sneak into that top three. Agreed. I think that's a really good team, too. Agreed. And that's and the shot that in here. They worked themselves into the top six. Like They finished six overall mm-hmm. coming out of quals, solid. and I was not expecting that out of them, and I'll be the first to admit it. I was not expecting that. I was expecting them down like... At one point, they were in, like, 18th, 19th place, like, outside of Qualls looking in, going into at the halfway point. The so, way their morale was, was, like, they, they like even if you talk to them right now, they probably feel like they were, like, 14th place. <laughs> you know, I was like, bro, you guys were sixth. Like, it wasn't no, that no, bad. <laughs> they had a good final week. Uh, they picked up some chicken dinners and uh, it was their double week. got things kind of going in the right spot. And, uh Shout out to Bliv for actually finishing a regular season. I'll well, no, I was going to say Bliv <laughs> for stepping in because Pro left he military duty, so he's out. Bliv stepped in, and the team like almost did a complete 180 and could have been you, in the top six. So, shout out to that. Uh, it be me what. <laughs> he's been wanting to IGL your team for a long time. Uh, he just wants on the team. Yeah, uh, I think <laughs> my aspect. team. This is gonna be a long shot. Hear me out. Don't think I'm crazy, but Nine Esports could be a team that's out of it. That I'm telling you guys, we don't talk about them, so nobody knows how really good they are. But they're legit. Like that team's been legit. It, it keeps doing their thing. They're in 11th place right now, but they had 125 points, and they're literally only 50 points out of. Um, what would have been the Dub Hub's third place spot? So that's a team that, like, if they can continue to tighten up, you know, it's a talented squad. I'm not picking one of those teams that are top five, whatever. Like, I'm I'm going for that long shot team. And that's a team that could do well. And low key though, Rico's rough next too, right? Like, that's a team that yeah. like everybody always doubts them no, and no. thinks they suck and do this and, da, 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 and this and this and that. But they qualified for the other league. They um handled the business in this league like they're continuing to be solid and i mean they were second in the shanko's god dang like mvp in his group like yep. you know like agreed. at what point do we stop hating on them you know right agreed my, my problem with rico's is they're just so inconsistent they could go a day or two and have a great game mm-hmm. and then they go three or four days and they're in the lower half of the spectrum for it I feel like Tragic has a lot of enemies too, where teams challenge them just because people hate him. You know, so that I mean that is very very possible there. I don't think that's at all. A lot I of people think, hate Tragic. They, they do, they do. And but drop that, on that, I don't. I don't see. I that don't team see might people, get dropped on as much as your team. They 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 get challenged because people have that misconception that they are bad. Mm-hmm. So when they get a knock, oh, we're pushing this team. Uh, you know, like, so they are more wide open to that. And it's not because of hate towards Dragic. It's because they think they're bad. And I, I think they've really, you know, shown through quals and other tournaments recently that they're not a team that you really want to mess around with no. and, and take advantage or, you know, Unless take for gra- I guess gra- not granted is the right word for it, but, like, you know, like, don't name. underestimate them. Yeah. I like it. Um, for me, my, um, surprise team is going to be, I'm going to go with the angry lions in main gaming. If, uh, if Ernster pops off, if they can pop off, like they did the last couple weeks or that um, one day at land. Or the one day at land where they just own just about everybody. If they can put in a good few games like that, or days like that, um, they could easily hit that top 
uh, five top or sorry, top three spot. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm as go Ernster gaming. goes, because Ernster's like you know he's the man. Yep. So if he does as MVP goes, numbers, that team will do good. As Ernster goes, they go. So we'll see. Honorable mention to the Lioness, but you know what I mean. Yes, definitely. Can't forget Acid. All right, uh, Fallen Angel. So this is going to be the team that you expect to be in the top three to five who is going to be, say, eighth place or lower, like yeah. the lower half of the, um, or as we like to say, the right side of the leaderboard. So we're going out the top five that's here right now, and who's going to fall out of it, or projected top five teams? Your projected top five, like, like me, I look at a skyline as a top five team. Even though they're in twelfth. Even though they're in twelfth. So the teams you in your mind think are a top five team okay. who you don't expect to make top eight. Ooh, imagine Skyline being in twelfth. <laughs> Shock uh <laughs> who'd we start with last time? I think we started with Shock. Start oh, with me. K dub. Oh no, we started with you. Never mind. Started with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll right, do well, it again. That's fine. We'll go. Sorry. We'll, we'll do it again. But <laughs> It, here's my thing. I was super high on this team because they come out of the gates like a bat out of hell. Oh, man, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. And they, Qualls, they still did really good. The second best team in Qualls. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I love them. But I feel like this is a team, depending on how much Laz plays and how much Zach Baby plays, if those two aren't in the lineup together, I don't see it happening. I, I've I've watched enough of these other tournaments recently, and they don't got the same gusto when when those two guys are in there. So I can see them falling from grace a little bit on this. If they're not, especially if they're not playing. Definitely. So. I, I'm gonna throw it out there. They ain't gonna finish top five. So. That's what I was thinking, but since you said them, um, I would say like my top five going into it would have been like power ranking wise would have been like Kinetic Seven, Console Killers, Dub Hub, uh, Skyline, and Vig would be like my top five teams. And the team out of those five that I think would fall out would be Skyline because they're in twelfth place. They haven't proven other than like they have flashes where they show themselves as BGE season four champs and they have a dominant night or a dominant daily tournament, but They've been a lot of hit and miss from Skyline lately, and that's a team that I was, I voted to put them number one in the power ranking for their group. So, um, a team that I've been really big on. I was rocking my Skyline hat, and they were just flat, man. They were flat like a two day RC pop, you know, like it was not. After great, their last, so. yeah, after their last day of calls, they were sort of sweating. They're uh-huh. like, "Are we gonna make it?" Yeah. And we we sat down and did the math, and yeah, they were definitely like, shooting. In, but they. They, they actually felt like, yeah, they actually felt like they weren't in at that point. Yep. So, I, I mean, they could have fallen a lot further. I mean, WC missed them by a point, or else they could yeah. have passed them, which would have knocked them into 13. WC if, showed that they wanted to be in champs. They at least yep. put up an effort during the final yep. qualifiers, you know? Yep. So, I mean, Skyline only made the top 12 by a couple points, or else they would have been on like that 14th position possibly like and that's, closer to the that's bubble not, than champs that is not a spot that you usually see those guys no, so definitely not the worst you would see skyland with the ongoing joke was that's a second place ass team you never say <laughs> right. that's a 12th place team no, right. no never no not at all um so, with all due respect they're, they're in still in my top five but if they did fall out that would be the team so <laughs> that'd be your team yeah. um for me I'm going to go with uh, Console Killers. I think they're a team that is going to fall off a little bit here. Um, they're hit and miss lately, it seems like. I mean, yes, they made top five overall going into quals, but I don't know. I just I feel like teams are starting to adjust a little bit easier to them, more to them, and uh, they don't get their easy... Uh, they're not getting fed kills. They're not getting fed like they used to. Mm-hmm. So they, they have to fight a little harder to earn what they get. And a little bit of a struggle. So I think they might be a team that could possibly fall off there. I will say, though, out of all the like top teams, Sky, uh, Consequilers is definitely one of those teams that likes to feed on the 
the lesser teams. Like, they're more willing to make that crazy third-party push to go take out the weak teams fighting, you know? Yep. Oh, 100%. They'll get a knock and crash a compound because they know it's a weaker team, you know? But in Mm -hmm. champs, everybody's good. You don't have that weak link as much out there, so they're going to be struggling a little bit more, but... You might find a team or two that you could bully a little bit. I do got to say, Grim, for you once you're done. Go ahead, but... Question. Um... You might find a team or two that you could bully a little bit. And, I mean, I'm not knocking them, but, like, a Rip or maybe a Lethal, somebody like that, you might be able to bully around a little bit. But even then, those teams, they prove well, they can fight back and wipe you. Facts, so facts. And it's, not, it's, it's not a given. Get, yeah, unless you get a straight 4v4 as well. Like, yeah. you're not, like, you don't know who's around. There's, like, there's, I don't know. It's not. It's okay. not as easy in champs. No, definitely not. It's definitely a lot tougher. You were going to say, Shox? Yeah, I was talking to console killers because I hop in their party quite often when they have questions. They're like, hey, man, we watch Hot Drop. We listen to the streamer all the time. Why does Grim hate on us so much? Why does he <laughs> hate us every time? It would be a 4v4 endgame. Who you got? Never us, you know? Well, what's up with that? It's just it's just how I call it. Just how I see it. You know, <laughs> someone's got to pick the bad guy. <laughs> there you go. All right, that was a, I just throwing it out there for y'all. Um, I think I skipped this one, but your pick to win it all. Sheesh! I mean, ah, oh, golly, man. I mean, I don't want to say K seven just because K seven, K seven, and area. Everybody should pick K seven. Like that's undoubtedly probably the best team to win it all. So, um, but I'm gonna go with um. 62 points over everybody else. That's what I'm uh, saying. Like, they just, I, K7. K7. I mean, God, I don't want to pick them, but, like, K- Vegas got them as, like, a 200 to 1 <laughs> favorite right now. You know what I mean? K7. Come on. Alrighty. K-Dub, are you sticking with your uh, original? Whole lobby's scared of them. I, the whole lobby ain't scared <laughs> No, no. The <laughs> lobby is learning to not be as scared of them <laughs> as they used to be. There is a particular team that is definitely not freaking scared of them. And if they don't do so hot and they see uh, the first day or two and they see K7 pulling away, I can can 100% tell you that they are going to throw to make sure that they don't get there. And that's crazy, Mob. I'm not picking them as my win, but they are going to punt K7 down if given the chance i don't know man you know what crazy mob though at the same time like when they ain't got nothing to play for but i mean sometimes crazy mob they just play like for the bigger events especially to start them off they play scary and they only play good when they're aggressive and it's disappointing and that's what i mean like i said (sighs) we'll need a day or two and if if crazy mob doesn't um doesn't do as well as they hope i can see them going after and setting up on k7 an awful lot They've got, they've already proven to do it in the past in every event. They didn't care if it was. Rolls away. <laughs> they they uh, dropped on them in a couple mini series, and K seven yeah. ran twice from mm-hmm. them. So if anybody, yeah. if anything, it's K seven that's scared scared to square off with Crazy Mob no, at the beginning. For sure, for sure. I agree so, with that. Um, but my pick, I, I'm sticking with it. Um, oh, DH, gosh. they're playing absolutely amazing um, for the most part, and outside of a little PCL hiccup. They've they've been at or near the top in almost every tournament that they they joined. So mm-hmm. um, I really think uh, this could be this could be the season that they win. So they're gonna get that little badge, you know what I mean? <laughs> next to you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not a, I'm I'm not normally a homer. I try to give a credit to everybody, but I, I like I told you at the beginning when I picked them in, in quals. Um, this season feels a little different for me. So, did he pick his MVP? Did I pick my MVP? Yeah. No. Oh, did I pick my MVP? No, I picked mine. Right. I went with aim. I don't remember yeah. you picking one. He did. He picked tack. Oh yeah, he yeah. did. Okay, I was about to say. I was like, K-Dub would definitely be the guy to be like, yeah, let me get space for my MVP. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, no, but if you're gonna pay, I, I'm surprised you guys haven't been paying attention a little bit. And nobody picked him, but Ice and Nasty has been Ice has exactly been that on the stream. You haven't seen, but I hype him up because I'm always he's, like, <laughs> he's legit. He's under. He's the unsung hero. You know. 
Maybe 2022's most underrated player of the year yeah. coming up next year. Uh, uh, so Between him and Shank? Right? Like, you know, yeah. Um, I got to do it. I 100% have to do it. Team <sighs> Impulse. Gotcha. Nope. Oh, don't say gonna... GT. I'm going to be a homeboy. Oh, my. You see what I work oh, with, guys? Boy. You see what I work oh, with? The Dove I'm Hub guy goes never with Dove Hub. That until the GT guy this goes season. GT. Nope. I have never done this until this season. <laughs> so, so I was going to, I was 100% set on TI. I was even yeah. set on TI after quals going into, and if we would have recorded this An two, hour days ago. Ago, <laughs> okay. two days ago, two days ago, when right now. on Monday, when we won the Lion event wanted it i would have said yes i would have stuck with ti but after i found out the change and saw how they do 20 squad south them adding tacticals i think is going to make the big difference right i thought he was going to say gt he came in late with that south didn't he because you started, you were saying GT, assumed... so I, in your mindset, I knew where you were going. I know yeah, where I want to go. I'm going to go with 20 south. squad. They're adding, them adding tack, I think is going to be huge. And I mean, the way the lineup's been going, uh, tack, um, he's been playing with Sparky, uh, Link, and Q. And that is the roster that has been playing for um qualifiers I, and they're showing they can win they took uh i think they yes they won tournament. the other night and then i i don't, I don't know where they placed the other night in main gaming or no they didn't play main gaming but yes they've been they've been placing in that top half of the leaderboard so I, i'm gonna unfortunately be the homeboy also and go with them 20 squad just to uh See if Tack can get his first BGE championship. I love it. I, Our, I felt like when Sparky left that original mates team, like he was their missing piece. Because once he left, that was a downfall. I mean, no more, nothing after that. And Sparky went on to do good things and win lands, and you know what I mean. I agree. I agree. He he was. I feel like he was a little bit of the glue. He left. Mm -hmm. They started to fall apart a little bit. They pick up Link. They pick up Q. Grav leaves. The mates did decent. I mean, they still kind of dominated a little bit, but they never had that domination like they had. I felt like Link and those guys joining were, like, great shooters, and that's why they picked them up, but they just didn't have that same mindset, that same game knowledge like these guys have to make those yeah. smart plays, and it, it just wasn't working. Definitely. I mean, definitely very possible there. Alrighty. Um, final two topics. We'll actually turn this over to Shocks with a couple announcements for finals oh, yeah. for Champ. Hey, so we have partnered with the PUBG community team for uh, BGE Season 5 Champs. Um, what does that mean? Um, we haven't worked out all the details yet, but... Um, in theory, we're going to be getting G coins, probably G coins for the some of the winners. We're going to be getting G coins for to give away during the stream. We're not sure on the exact amount that we're going to be giving away, but for LAN, it was uh, 1,000 10 times. So we had that for LAN. So I'm assuming it's probably going to be something similar to that. So that should be sweet. Something to give away to the community for those that watch the stream. And then also cooler, one of the things we're going to get is the in-game banner. So you know how when you play PUBG, upper right-hand corner of your screen, you got that little banner. Uh, we're going to have our banner every time we go live for uh, BGE Season 5. So that's recognition, um, at least from the PUBG community team. So shout out to those guys. Big shout out to Andy Hall and uh, Cecilia. So real deal, Holyfield. Um, shout out to them for partnering with us as putting a little bit of trust and love into us. So we appreciate that, especially considering like, we're, we're trying to grow the console community, um, so hopefully we could do something like this. You know what I was thinking, too? So off topic right now with that, I was thinking we should do a tournament because we want to grow the console community back, right? I was thinking we'd do a tournament like 
bring an old friend or like bring a retired or bring a friend where like you sign up maybe a dual event and it'd be free if you bring somebody that hasn't played in a bge event for two or three months you know what i mean you bring in that one dude that hasn't played in a long time and you br if you bring in him as your partner free entry you know what i mean bring somebody back your boy that's playing apex every day bring him back you know <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All righty. Um, closing remarks. Uh, anything, K-Dub? Well, or what are you I, looking forward to in Champs? One I am... Other? I don't know. Like, I get a little geeked when it comes to console comp. Like, I love the dailies. I love the weekly series, mini series. I love, you know, watching... You know, MG, the PCL, BGE season five. Like, I, I just I just love watching it, um, watching all these teams grow and, and get better. And I'm really, really looking for a different team than the norm to – I'm craving a different team than the norm to finally pull one out. Same. So – Loki, I, I want said to, that last year too. Yeah, Loki, I want to say that like I want the Dub Hub to win, you know, like in my heart, not because of you, because whatever, you know. And even the Dub Hub guys, they hate me, so whatever it is, what it is. But <laughs> I like the Dub Hub team from a perspective, like a visual watcher of the streams. So I like the players on that team. They probably don't like me or whatever. I don't care. But like I like how they play, and I think it's a greatly ran organization. So I would love for a team like that to win to kind of like represent the brand uh skyline was a great team to win last season because they're an organization that's building themselves even though they kind of like they didn't promote themselves that whole time that they were champs but they you fell know, off they yeah, won and disappeared yeah, exactly <laughs> stop being an organization for however long you know but like good teams like that good mannered people good people i'd like to see one of those just like k-dub says like one of those teams that you know represent you know what i mean we need somebody that's going to be like a professional representative of uh, BGE. So. A team that gives that 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 actually puts cares. In just as much effort <laughs> into the community as they take out of it. Yeah. So that's that's what we all hope for. So, yeah. um, you kind of chimed in there, but do you have yeah. anything else there, Shocks? Um, no, I think that's um legit. I think uh, I think GT is going to surprise people as well. By the way, but uh. We'll see how it plays out. Council Killers, top five for sure. Be on the lookout. All righty. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait for uh, champs here. I um, think we're going to have a very tight race. I don't think you, one team will run away. Hopefully. Uh, if teams can keep K7 in check, then you're going to be in for a knockdown drag out battle. The mob yard. All three weeks will be very interesting, so you're not going to want to miss it. Fridays and or sorry, Thursdays and Fridays starting at eight thirty. Uh, by the time the delay kicks in, probably be around eight forty-five. We will be live, Boom. and uh, we're working on a couple little things on the back end. So we always are looking out for the community. So stay tuned for some further developments yeah we got some cool and stuff with that coming. boom catch you guys later on the next episode of the hot drop peace